Today I'm going to mount this Rokinon 14mm ultra-wide angle lens on the new Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K. Hey everyone, Sean here with PhotoDeox.com and we recently got our hands on this amazing new camera from Blackmagic. This is the Cinema Camera 6K. It's not the pocket Cinema Camera 6K, it's the new Cinema Camera 6K, they're dropping the pocket name. They've switched the mount from a Canon EF DSLR mount to an L mount, which means you can adapt a ton more lenses to this camera. And today we're gonna try something a little fun and adapt this ultra wide angle Rokinon 14 millimeter lens to this camera. Now this is the Cine version of Rokinon's 14 millimeter. It has a Canon EF mount. So to adapt it to the Cinema Camera 6K, we're gonna use our Photo Deox Canon EF to L mount adapter. Using this adapter is pretty simple. We're just going to mount the lens to the adapter like this and mount the adapter and lens to the L mount camera. Now we've got this ultra wide angle 14 millimeter lens adapted to our full frame Cine camera with our Photo Deox adapter. And the main reason I wanted to try this combo is that Blackmagic's new Cinema Camera 6K not only has a full frame, but it shoots open gate full frame video. Open gate means you're using the entire sensor of the camera to shoot video. It's not cropping 16.9, it's using that full rectangular frame. And that means we're gonna get more of the image circle of this lens, more on the top and bottom. And it's gonna give me an even wider field of view on this camera than I would get on say a Sony A7 body. Now this is my first time shooting with the Cinema Camera 6K and I learned a valuable lesson. Even with an ultra wide angle lens like this 14 millimeter, it's not the best camera for handheld video. I got a ton of micro jitters in my footage. Every time my hand shook just a little, it was picked up in the footage and it kind of ruined most of my shots. So if you're thinking about picking this camera up, definitely plan on either shooting mostly on a tripod or investing in a really nice big meaty rig that adds a lot of weight to the camera so you don't get as many micro jitters. Holding it like this, you know, going out and just running and gunning, shooting with this setup, you're gonna get a lot of camera shake. Now I was able to use stabilization in post to get some of the footage back and I do love the results. It's amazing to see the 14 millimeter ultra wide angle lens in action on this open gate sensor. setup really shown was when I locked it down on a tripod and did some simple tripod moves. It gave me much more stable footage and I got some pretty cool stuff. Now this lens is fairly cheap and there's a reason why. You do get a lot of distortion and uh, if you're shooting something really close up especially, you can see in this shot of this model, we're getting some really weird distortion on the window pane here. As I pan up, it's doing all sorts of strange stuff. And you wouldn't really see this in landscape photography, which is what this lens is mostly made for. But when you're shooting extreme close-up video, that distortion really shows up. I had a blast shooting with this lens camera combo and using our Photo Deox adapter to do it. Did learn some valuable lessons. The Cinema Camera 6K is not the best handheld camera and it is much better on a tripod. But I'm loving the open gate 6K footage this camera creates and I'm probably going to get one of these cameras in the future. It is a beautiful, beautiful beast. If you have any questions about anything I talked about in today's video, comment below. I'd love to help you out. Also, click the link in the description below to learn more about our Canon EF to L mount lens adapter. And click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with PhotoDeox.com and have fun adapting weird lenses to your cinema camera.